Hey, a pleasant good day, everyone. This is going to be Joey's look ahead to the MLB Game of the Week, the free MLB Game of the Week on YouTube. That cover starts at 7.30 between the Reds and the Twins. This is a huge game for the Reds, and kind of just let's keep getting going, having good winning ways into the playoffs game for the Twins, so we don't know how long Barrios will go in this one. But Tyler Malley, who's pitching for the Reds, has been having a very, very good season, his most consistent season. He's 2-2 two and two with a 1.10 whip and a 3.57 ERA. Uh, he's just been very solid this year against Barrios, who has very good ace level stuff when he's money and on point and uh, the lineups today for the Reds are Shogo Akiyama playing left and hitting first Nick Castellanos playing right hitting second first base Votto hitting third Yudino Suarez third base hitting fourth um, Mike Moustak is fifth hitting or playing second hitting fifth and then hitting at sixth spot is Jesse Winker playing DH Sensel in center field playing in the seventh hole. And then you have Galvis in the eighth spot at shortstop. Tucker Bornhardt in the ninth spot at catcher, who's a pretty underrated catcher. Catches the game really well. If he could become a consistent hitter, that dude would become a pretty high ranked, at least top 15 in the league catcher guy. Uh, you also have the Twins, have Max Kepler, one of my favorite players in the MLB. German born player, just knows how to hit. That dude's a beast, has great power. Um, playing right field, hitting first. Josh Donaldson, another dude I love, has a great swagger. Made a great bear in the play. Couldn't get the guy out the other day, but dude's just amazing. Hitting second at third base. And then you got Nelson Cruz at DH. Eddie Rosario at left field fourth. Byron Buxton at center field fifth. So no, first base sixth. Jorge Polanco, shortstop seventh. Mitch Garver, catcher eighth. And Marwin Gonzalez, second base, hitting ninth. This is going to be a very good game. It just depends how long the Twins let their guys go because they pretty much locked up where they're at with the Reds. They're really playing for it still. Uh, they still need to get wins here. They're not set in stone, locked in anywhere. So this is still key, key for the Reds where the Twins are pretty much locked in unless if they uh, sweep the Reds, which I don't think is going to happen. Uh, I think uh, the Reds actually have a very good chance to win this game because they've been playing very, very well. And they're going to want to stay exactly where they're at in the seventh spot. They don't want to fall. The Giants have a tough uh, series with the Padres. The Phillies have a tough series with the Rays. So the Reds are going to want to be able to have Tyler Mayle, who's pitching the biggest game of his career, uh, piggyback off of him and hope that he can pitch a very good game. I would definitely put some small money on the Reds here because you get some good money on it. But it's a it's a game. It's going to be a fun game to watch. It's the free MLB game of the week on YouTube. I would definitely recommend checking it out if you have the time. This is definitely going to be a very good game, playoff atmosphere type of game because the Reds are really playing for it and playing to keep that second spot in the division so they guarantee themselves a top six seed and not an actual wild card spotting. So everyone have a great, safe, and pleasant night. Enjoy the start of your weekend. This has been Joey's look ahead to the MLB game of the week. Peace out, everybody.